Bible Tales, Genesis chapter number 11. The whole earth was of one language and of one speech. It happened, as they traveled east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they lived there. They said one to another, Come, let's make brick, and burn them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, and they used tar for mortar. They said, Come, let's build us a city, and a tower, whose top reaches to the sky, and let's make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad on the surface of the whole earth. Yahweh came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men built. Yahweh said, Behold, they are one people, and they have all one language, and this is what they begin to do. Now nothing will be withheld from them, which they intend to do. Come, let's go down, and there confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So Yahweh scattered them abroad from there on the surface of all the earth. They stopped building the city. Therefore the name of it was called Babel, because Yahweh confused the language of all the earth, there. From there, Yahweh scattered them abroad on the surface of all the earth. This is the history of the generations of Shem. Shem was 100 years old, and became the father of Arpashad two years after the flood. Shem lived after he became the father of Arpashad 500 years, and became the father of sons and daughters. Arpashad lived 35 years, and became the father of Shalah. Arpashad lived after he became the father of Shalah 403 years, and became the father of sons and daughters. Shalah lived 30 years, and became the father of Eber. And Shalah lived after he became the father of Eber 403 years, and became the father of sons and daughters. Eber lived 34 years, and became the father of Peleg. Eber lived after he became the father of Peleg 430 years, and became the father of sons and daughters. Peleg lived 30 years, and became the father of Ru. Peleg lived after he became the father of Ru 209 years, and became the father of sons and daughters. Ru lived 32 years, and became the father of Sareg. Ru lived after he became the father of Sareg 207 years, and became the father of sons and daughters. Sareg lived 30 years, and became the father of Nahor. Sareg lived after he became the father of Nahor 200 years, and became the father of sons and daughters. Nahor lived 29 years, and became the father of Terah. Nahor lived after he became the father of Terah 119 years, and became the father of sons and daughters. Terah lived 70 years, and became the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Now this is the history of the generations of Terah. Terah became the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Haran became the father of Lot. Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his birth, in Ur of the Chaldees. Abram and Nahor took wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife, Milcah, the daughter of Haran who was also the father of Iscah. Sarai was barren. She had no child. Terah took Abram his son, Lot the son of Haran, his son's son, and Sarai his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife. They went forth from Ur of the Chaldees, to go into the land of Canaan. They came to Haran, and lived there. The days of Terah were 205 years. Terah died in Haran.